Okay, peeps, we are at Squim State Park in Squim, Washington. I just wanted to give you my quick camp setup. Uh, so this is our motorhome, saying we're living life. And I think we need to find a name for her, him, her, you know, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Leva and I, we really enjoy camping. So it's going to be, this is our simple camp setup. I uh, just wanted to show you this real quick. Uh, so I typically hook up my sewer when we're getting ready to leave because I let the tanks fill up and then uh, then we dump the tanks. You shouldn't dump your tanks when they're, or let them run empty because especially your, your uh, sewer tank is no bueno. And you got to have a surge protector for your coach because electronics, you will be damaged if you have bad power. And I also use a clear water filter which has a sand filter and a very fine uh, filter. Mic one micron, it's, that's like one micron. And so uh, on most motor coaches, I don't know about older ones, but newer ones, you have uh, what's called a wet bay. And our wet bay, uh, I hate twisting things on. I could run the hose through here. It's designed to go through there. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to have it open so you can see. I have a cable connection on top there. There's power that we put in there. This is power. And then we also have a cable line uh, that is in there as well. And it's down here at the bottom. So this, this part is a cable connection where we can connect the coax cable. And then I also put quick connects everywhere because I hate twisting things on. So I have quick connects for everything. And they do really well. They don't really leak much. I get, there's a little water in there and that's probably from residual when I started this thing up. Uh, and then I have little disconnects on each quick connect so I can close it off when we're not needing and I'll keep insects from getting in the system. So this is called a Coachman Concord Dual Slide DS300. So it's about 33 feet long. It's the longest uh, class C coach that you can get. And we call it a um, couples coach because it has a, it's really designed for a couple. You can bring grandbabies along if you want. Uh, you have space, you can make extra beds out of the sofa. And a set T is a big U-shaped set T. So that's designed for that as well. Uh, but basically it's just leave it my wife and I who use this coach and then they have this little thing down here It's a swing out for your sewer line I don't know if you guys can see that but this thing right here you open the door this will swing out and it also has a sewer hose in it and we can connect that to our our uh, uh, when we dump we don't have to have an extra sewer we do carry extra sewer lines because um, this right here it may not be long enough. If you look today, this is where the line is. And that's where the connection is, way over there. That's about 10 feet away. So you do need extra sewer lines. But like I said, we don't really connect the sewer until we're ready to dump. So that's not a big deal. And then under here, it's a huge bay. Huge bay. We'll do a more of a detail outside uh, view of the coach later. This is just our quick this is our quick camp setup. Leave and I, we love camping and we have all kinds of stuff that we set up. Gazebos, we set up like uh, screen rooms over the picnic table because both of us hate mosquitoes. And then typically we have our car connected to the hitch down here. We towed a vehicle, but now since we're at this park, we just carry our bikes. And then in the back, I don't know if you can see that, it's a huge back window. It, you can put this thing on a lake and have a beautiful view from your bedroom. Like I said, this is a two slide coach. It has a bedroom slide and then it has a living room slide that you see there. And a wet bay. And I typically have that wet bay closed with the hose going through, but I just had it open today so, so I can video for you. Just a quick setup. And it has multiple storage bays. This motor coach will store. 2400 it has a, a, a carrying capacity of 2400 pounds which is a lot 
that's a lot for a motor coach. Uh, let's go around. I've showed you the bikes. And that big giant window in the back. And this thing has cameras around it. Uh, we got side, side mount cameras, back rear view cameras. Uh, so if you're driving down the road, you need to go left, turn left, or, or merge left, you got it. You can see. And this thing has a huge awning as well. The awning is almost as long as the entire coach. There's one thing I do not like about the awning. Uh, it doesn't retract, self-retract with the wind. And this has uh, Bigfoot leveling jacks or, and they're underneath. And I did put on the snap pads, uh, which I say is a must, or you'll be carrying blocks of wood. So you have the Bigfoot leveling system and it has snap pads on it. And you can see there's gravel on that because it drug in my driveway. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to maybe raise my coach up with liquid shocks, liquid springs, I think that's what it's called. So that's something we'll be doing probably later. Uh, Lee and I have had this coach for a couple years. Uh, we bought it used, new to us, but used. And like I said, we really, really love the awning on it. And this is our quick, simple setup. So this is the way we do it. Just real quick. Uh, cover on front, keeps privacy and sun. We're in the shade now, so it's no big deal. And this is a Coachman Concord, as you see there. And there's the cover. And this is our real quick setup. We don't really set much up out here. Uh, beautiful paint job. This coach can run all electric as well. We don't have to use gas at all. Uh, so that's what we like. And like I say, just a real simple grill. We have a nice grill that we take to our our kind of like our, our glamp, glamping camping but this is a real simple grill one we have on our boat uh, just tablecloth just real simple stuff the fire pit at night simple setup just wanted to show you that living lifers I'm gonna get this thing going get it going we got shrimp and we got uh, clams and it's gonna be on and popping look at that look at that look at that mm, mm, mm. get the clams done real fast Turn that down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Look, they done. They pretty much are done. Look at that. Flip them real quick. Just real quick. Real quick. And they done. Just like that. That's the way we roll. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's done, baby. It's done. Get some more going on here real quick. Let's quick, quick, quick slide. Done. Clowns, baby. Razor clowns. Gotta spread out a bit. Mm -hmm. All 
right. living life with that's what I'm talking about fish fry now excuse me for not having a lot of greens in there hey but this is a fish fry spot prawns sea bass razor clams homemade coleslaw and I don't know what kind of wine drink that is but some kind of wine drink we finna get it in, get it in, get it in. 